Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be getting a website online. I'm gonna be comparing two platforms, Tinyhost and GoDaddy, which is easier to use to be able to register a domain and get your website online, and which is cheaper. The answer may just surprise you. Here is the GoDaddy website. I've already registered a domain. Let's see what we have to do to get a website up and running. So I'm gonna click on my domain, and here it comes the first problem with using GoDaddy. How do you figure out where anything is? This interface is so complicated and it feels like it's trying to point you to use various additional services that of course you have to pay for. What I'm looking for is some way to upload my files. And honestly, I actually took quite a long time to figure this one out, but unfortunately there's no way to test out your domain. Uh, you can generate a example site, which is basically like a coming soon website, which is, I guess, useful. But fundamentally, this uh, won't allow you to upload a HTML file for free. You have to select one of their plans. Here's the pricing page for GoDaddy. And look, the basic monthly cost, the minimum that you can pay on a month by month basis is £16.99 a month. That comes up to over £203 for the year. And if you pay uh, yearly, of course, you can save a little bit of money, but that's still £95. So the cheapest you can pay is £95 upfront to see if your website looks any good. This to me seems a bit crazy. I, as a user, I want to be able to look at my stuff, preview it first, and then commit to paying if I actually like the service. I don't want to be paying for this upfront. So far, I've not actually been able to get my website up and running. Let's switch it over to Tinyhost and see how much easier and cheaper it is to get a website up and running. Now, let's compare the plans for Tinyhost. They have a free plan which allows you to have one active project with some limitations, and that allows you to test out the platform and see how it feels. Then, once you're ready to upgrade, there is a range of price points to suit every budget. And if you sign up yearly at the moment, you get two months free, and that means that you're only going to be paying £48 a year for your web hosting. That is so much cheaper than GoDaddy and so much easier to use as well. Now, I have upgraded to a paid plan on GoDaddy. Let's edit a website and see how quickly and easily we can get a website up and running. So I'll click the edit website button and this has created a brand new website for us. This is not something that I've designed. This is something that GoDaddy has created based on what the domain is called and uh, some little bits of information I've entered about the website. And this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a great looking website. And so all we need to do now is click publish and we publish that to the domain that I uh, selected earlier. Let's have a look. And as you can see, the website is up and running. And considering this took me zero clicks, this is actually really, really impressive. Okay, so I've logged into Tinyhost. Let's see how easy it is to get a website up and running. So quickly, the first thing I need to do is upload a file. Then we grab this uh, website that I created earlier. And of course, because it's Tinyhost, there is a bunch of different options you can use whilst uploading. So you can put some restrictions up on there. So if you want to make sure this is a, perhaps a private website, you will put in a password to make sure that no one can access it without having prior authorization. But also you could set it up to capture emails and this will allow you to be able to set up the website as a lead generation mechanism. And if you're interested in that, there is a video that we've created as well so you, i'll put that link into the description below but now i'm going to click publish great that is uploaded and we can see what this website looks like now tinyhost has automatically created a url for us to use which is fantastic and super simple and we could of course share this url via qr code you can copy the link and also you can embed it as well super super useful features both godaddy and tinyhost support custom domains including purchasing a new domain linking an existing domain or creating a subdomain both platforms make it easy to set up this feature and it's a great way to create a professional looking website and because we're using tinyhost we get access to a powerful suite of analytics tools as well you'll be able to see how many unique visitors how long they're spending on the website and how many people are bouncing. Now, if you're not familiar, bounce rate is when a user clicks away from your website. So if that's a high bounce rate, indicates that perhaps you need to adjust your content to better suit your users. You can also see where they are coming in the world. You can see what pages they're accessing and also what devices they are accessing as well. So you can figure out, are your users primarily mobile 
on desktop users and adjust your content to suit. Really, really useful. GoDaddy also offers analytics, but I think tiny hosts are way more fully featured. So there you go, a quick comparison on GoDaddy and tiny host, which is better for website hosting. I think you'll agree with me that tiny host is both easier and cheaper. And I really hope you consider when you are building your next website that you use tiny host. With that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.